Hi, I'm Sephora Jerome. She actually got it right. Thank you very much. Um, I'm reading from Teacher's Pet tonight. Um, this is a book uh, that can be found at ravenousromance.com. It's an e-book and it will soon be a print book as well. Uh, the um, concept of the story is it's about a woman, Adele, who's an aura painter, um, an aura reader. She runs a lingerie store and she runs art classes. And she um, has this wonderful student named Devin, who's about 25, and he has a lot of talent. And um, they, she admires his artwork in her classes, and eventually they hook up and go back to Devin's house. And Devin has this big, beautiful mural on his wall of a mystical um, fantasy place that they both have seen in their dreams called Harmony. Um, so basically, this little excerpt I'm going to read for you is the first time they have an encounter in his apartment, and uh, bear in mind that they have already looked at the mural, we're talking about the mural. And they've already started to undress. She held her arms up to him. Come to me, baby, she cooed. And he lay against her once more. His warm, smooth skin against hers made her heart race faster. She savored the feel of his nakedness as his lips sought hers out. It was surprising how much she had missed the arms of a man around her, and she was ready to give in to him anything he wanted. He kissed her neck and worked his gentle lips down to her breasts. He held one in his hands, pulling it up to suck on her nipple. She sighed as he flicked his tongue against it. He looked at her, watching her face. That's nice, she said. You can bite it if you want. Devin sucked her nipple until it was hard and firm. He bared his teeth and nipped at her. He nibbled and suckled it, and then turned his attention to her other one. Mmm, more, Adele sighed. She ran her hands along his strong, broad shoulders, enjoying the sight of his vibrant blue eyes, watching her. Every time his eyes met hers, another tingle surged through her, an electric connection from eyes to pussy. He kissed his way down her body, light little touches, the brush of butterfly wings. By the time he settled his kisses between her legs, she was wet with excitement. His fingers pulled her pussy lips apart, and his tongue lightly touched her clip. She thought she would jump out of her skin. Oh, my lord, she sighed. It had been so long since a man had licked her down there. She couldn't even remember the last time. Her last couple of sexual encounters had been drunk in one-night stands with no real foreplay, just hot and nasty stolen moments with faceless young men. His tongue lapped at her warmly and firmly. She moaned, holding her own pussy lips open so his fingers were free to slip into a glistening hole. Yes, oh yes, please keep doing that. She wiggled her hips gleefully, pushing her pussy against his mouth, trying not to overpower him, but unable to contain her excitement. His tongue licked her clit along her labia, thrust deep into her vagina, and tickled her asshole. She thought she would die when he returned to her clit and slept on it while his fingers hooked into her G-spot. Oh, my lord, she cried out as he pushed the magic button. So she has an orgasm, and then she gives him a blowjob. <laughs> And then they go look at the mural, <laughs> and then they get on to the next part. I'm talking too much again, Adele said nervously. I have this chattering thing where I can't stop talking. It's okay, Devin said as he kissed her again. She took the hint and pressed his mouth against hers. They tasted each other and themselves on their tongues, and the musky connection seemed to create another source of vibration within her. An electric energy tingled whenever he stroked her with his hands. One hand rubbed her clit while the other reached over by the lamp on the side table and plucked a condom from behind it. He quickly opened the wrapper with both hands and rolled the rubber over his cock. He parted her legs and slowly slid into her. She groaned softly as his firm warm cock parted her damp folds. He pushed in deeper and she had to spread her legs to accommodate his thickness. Oh my lord, she moaned between kisses. You feel so delicious. She closed her eyes, and a flickering behind her eyelids startled her. She opened her eyes and immediately looked at the mural. It seemed to ripple as she stared at it. The trees shifted slightly, as if dancing in a light breeze. She closed her eyes again and enjoyed the steady thrusting of Devin's virile dick slamming into her. Devin pulled on her hips as he pushed himself into her. He leaned back so that he was sitting up more. 
He was able to get better traction as he half squatted. Adele watched the ripple of his biceps throbbing as he pulled her back and forth. Another flash caught her eye, and she realized they weren't in the room anymore. They were on the couch, but outside. She blinked, wondering what was wrong with her. Devin fucked her harder and faster, and another orgasm rushed through her. There was a soft wind on her face, cooling her as she cried out, Devin! Oh my God! Her hands reached out for his waist, and she pulled him down on top of her, bucking her hips for one last rush. Yes! Oh, that's so good! She cried as a shudder of relief shuddered through her body. Devin kept fucking her until his thrust slowed and deepened. He cried out as he came. Adele opened her eyes and watched his face, enjoying his expression of rapture as he arched his back, the muscles in his chest pulled tight. Devin leaned forward for a moment, then looked up at her with a grin. You were magnificent, he said as he crawled up to kiss her. Their lips met and parted for a moment, then Adele pushed him back. She looked around the room. They were back in Devin's apartment. Thank you very much.